Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk about dialogue flow and this is one of the most awaited topics that most of you have been waiting for. So let's get started and I'll start with what exactly is dialogue flow all about. So dialogue flow is basically a natural language understanding platform that makes it easy to design and integrate uh, let's say conversational user interfaces into uh, for example our mobile applications uh, web applications and our interactive devices and so on. So without wasting much time on the theoretical aspect of it, I'll start with the agents part. Agent is one of the modules in the dialog flow and it is the first step whenever we are planning to build a chatbot. So first thing is to create an agent. So agent is basically a module which incorporates natural language processing to understand what exactly the user meant. For example, if I am interacting with a bot, whatever I am trying to convey to the bot. So that part is understood with the help of an agent. So that agent transforms the user request to actionable data and maps them to intent, which we will be covering in a separate video or a separate topic altogether and it in turn defines the objective of the user. So in short, long story short, agent basically manages the conversation flow using several other building blocks like intents, contexts, which we will be discussing in the upcoming sessions or videos. So this is the page which is open in front of you to create a new agent and if you want to create one, you can also navigate to this area. So for now you see the default name of snow integration which is one of the agent I built long back and click on this uh, drop down icon and you can click on create new agent. And you can choose your default language. I am choosing my default language is English and one point to be noted here is whatever default language you choose while creating an agent it cannot be changed later on. Since I am in India time zone, uh, I am going to select uh, this as the default time and I can choose to select a Google project in the Google project drop down or I can keep it as it is to create a new Google project. The next option that I can see over here is the mega agent. So if you're planning to combine several other agents into one, then this is the option you need to activate. Otherwise, uh, keep it off. I'm planning to create a very short agent for now. So we'll keep it off for, as part of this video. And let's give some name to our agent. So uh, let me give it a name Agent Snow and I'm going to click on create. It will take a couple of seconds probably to save this agent. So now my agent is saved and uh, I came onto this default screen where I am being asked to create an intent but we will not create that for now. Uh, now I am going to navigate to, so whatever you need to do with respect to your agent, it is uh, supposed to be done in the top left corner. This is the drop down if you want to create a new agent, if you want to see all the agents then this is the place. Or if you want to update some settings with respect to your agent, then that can also be done and it can be done over here. So first tab is the general tab where you need to describe your agent. So I'm going to give it a description of integration with ServiceNow. Then this is the default project ID that is generated. 
and here I can also specify the avatar for my agent and this is the option to enable beta features and APIs and all and here I am going to log my interactions to Google Cloud and Dialogflow If I go to the next tab, then I could see the default language that was selected by me is already available over here. And I have also an option to add a locale over here, like what kind of English I'm referring to. Is it Australia, Canada, UK, India, US? So let's select something over here. And I can also select uh, additional languages. So uh, Previously the options which are available over here were around 14 so maybe they have updated some of them in the recent days and if I select additional languages over here so how that is going to impact my chatbot is that all the intents and entities that I'm going to create moving forward will be replicated in each of these languages probably automatically but the only downside to that is no it is not actually a downside but the user expressions that we are going to configure as part of our chatbot those will have to be configured separately and that also makes sense because in every different language we have different kind of user expressions so we need to define them separately whenever we are building a chatbot coming to the next tab is ml settings tab and here we can simply specify how our agent will be trained the kind of algorithm that we will be using uh, here i can specify the confidence score so if the confidence score of the my conversation is less than 0 .0, uh, 0 0.3 then it will return a default intent otherwise uh, it will trigger the respective intent and here i have a couple of other options uh, I can allow machine learning algorithm to guide the spelling of my query during request processing. I can also enable automatic training. I can also automatically validate the agent when agent training is performed. So all these things I have certain options available over here to be done. Going to the next is export model where we can specify uh, we can simply export a complete agent if we want to onboard this agent to probably a different chatbot altogether then we can use this option and this is the environment tab where we can manage in which environment we will be uh, probably using a chatbot and these are a couple of new tabs added by Dialogflow in the recent years. Uh, so since the beginning it was launched a uh, lot of years back, uh, they have been enhancing the platform on a regular basis and adding new functionality. So. So this is pretty much it about the agents in a, a dialog flow. In our upcoming sessions, we'll also discuss about intents and how we create a chatbot and we'll integrate it with ServiceNow and we'll try to create a ticket and ServiceNow uh, with, in, with an integration with Dialogflow. So thank you so much for watching.